Hello, hello, I am Low End Gaming and welcome to a brand new amazing video. Well, this is the first video of a new video series called Cap or No Cap, in which I will test famous tweaking softwares, game boosters etc. and see if they actually work. Well, for this video I will test one of the most popular game boosters out there. Razer Cortex. It boosts your system performance for higher frame rates and faster load times so you can game at your best, helps you find the best gaming deals, and is the central app to launch your favorite games quickly and easily, all on one powerful platform. Form. For this video, our only focus will be gaming. So, the PC I am using has the following specs. And the game we will use to benchmark and test the software will be GTA 5. Because it runs smoothly on my PC. These are the settings on which I am running the benchmark with Razer Cortex off. The resolution set to 1366 by 768 and all the settings set to low. These are the benchmarks. Well, the average FPS was above 40 frames per second and the peak and highest was 70 frames per second. Now, let's turn on Razer Cortex and see what happens. Open the Razer Cortex. We will use the software as a normal user, no extra stuff. Click on Game Booster and go to Boost. Click on Auto Boost. Well, if you want to optimize more than tick the Processes section. Now click on Boost Now. Now go to System Booster and click on Scan. Then click on Clean. Now, go to Speed Up and click on Optimize. And we are done. Now, just directly let's start our game. So, before showing you the benchmark. I want to clear that Razer Cortex has not sponsored this video, this is all honest benchmark test to check if the software really works. After noting the final results it's your choice whether to use the software or not. Let's see the final results now. This is the comparison between both the benchmarks before and after. Well, at the start there is not really a difference between the both. As you can see and analyze yourself. But, we can see an interesting change when we reach this stage of the benchmark. Well, the FPS boost is nearly double when Razer Cortex is turned on. I don't know the reason but, yeah as you can see. But after this segment of the benchmark, FPS comes to normal. If we look overall in some areas the gameplay with Razer Cortex gives lower FPS as compared with when it is turned off. Well, you have the results. So, just before closing on to a conclusion. Just give it a try on your PC and see if it works. I will suggest if you have a low-end PC, then you can use it. But don't use this software if you have a high-end PC, it's of no use. Well, the final question of the video. It is cap or no cap? Here is the answer, I don't know yours. Fools. Huh. You arrogant asshole. He didn't shoot. Consequences. Yours. Well, let me know in the comments which softwares you want me to test. This was it for this video. See you all in the next one.